<laughs> good day. Um, that was a good day. So I'll just take questions. Some I'll get to do a little more today. He did. He uh, we had him in a red jersey. Um, we're trying to. He wore his helmet. We're trying to keep his head out of there today. Tomorrow he should be full speed. So I mean, so, this is all tracking for him to play uh -huh. at this time. Yeah, he's gonna play. Okay. He's gonna play. I, I don't know how much or if he'll start. I mean, uh, you know, we're always trying to find the best use for our personnel. Uh, the fact that he didn't practice yesterday and he did, was limited today would, you know, in my mind, mean that he's going to be a little bit limited on Saturday night. But he can spell Damian, he can spell Anthony Barr, and then, uh, you know, going forward, we're just going to try to, like always, get the best guys on the field and the best positions for them. So as we see it, um, I think what else? Jerry Johnson should be okay. He's still a little bit sore, but he'll be okay. And other than that, I think we're in good shape. So, Jerry, any more than Rick Tella? He's out this week. Yeah, just his head. He's still got headaches. So, like from the get-go in spring, you know, uh, you've got to be careful, especially with a guy that has a re reoccurring problem. You know, uh, I, I'm not sure that this was a, a concussion, but it was an event. You know, so we've got to be careful with it. Kim, where you talk about scheming for certain players? Is, is Keenan Allen one of those guys? Absolutely. You know, we've talked about it a lot. You know, sometimes you, you know, you're just preparing for a scheme. Sometimes you're preparing for a scheme, and you're preparing for a certain player within that scheme. And I don't think he's the only one. I mean, they're running backs. They've got three really good running backs. But Keenan is a guy that you better have an answer for. You know, he's a special player, and you can't go into the game without a way to, you know, as best you can try to eliminate him on certain plays. Now, you know, you can't double a guy in every play, that's just it's just impossible to do given the fact that you know they run the ball, they have other players that, that catch it, but he's a guy that you scheme for, absolutely. You had 11 different players catch passes last week, can you explain sort of how that important is for your tempo on offense? Well it's really important, you know, we want to try to go fast, and we're, when we're going fast and going at the tempo that we like to go out, we have to have a lot of players play, you know, just to to, to spell each other a little bit. And so I think that, you know, we've done a pretty good job. I think we've, that's two weeks in a row now. I believe we've had 11. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure about Oregon State, but, you know, we get 8, 10, 11 guys every week, and we've got to be able to do that. Spread it around, and that way everyone can play fast. Everyone can be fresh and be sharp. But on top of that, there's, like, no real go-to guy they can attack. They have to really worry about it. They do. You know, I think with us, it's probably, I would imagine that teams prepare for us just like we prepare for most people, which is the scheme first and individual player second. You know, there's, you know, Jonathan Franklin's a guy that's making the most noise out there. Um, it's hard to scheme for a running back. You know, you've just got to play good, solid, sound gap control defense and tackle well. How important is Jonathan going to be this week? <clears throat> I think it's really important. I think it's important that, uh, you know, we have success running the football. Even though we're a team that likes to spread it out and throw it, you know, my belief in terms of just general philosophy of football is that you have to be able to run the football, you know, regardless. And so. Jonathan and, and Damian and Jordan, those guys have got to be able to, you know, make some yards, make some tough yards, and you've got to be able to block it up front because it's a good defense. Coach, uh, last time you guys faced Christian Powell, this week you're going up against Bryce Triggs and uh, Chris Harper. What's it like? Is it a little bit weird facing guys that you only like six months ago or so you were recruiting? Yeah, that was different last week, seeing Christian out there. And I tried to find him after the game just to say hi. I couldn't find him. I think he got hurt a little bit. But uh, yeah, and Bryce is a special kid. Uh, I had a great relationship with Bryce and his dad. As a matter of fact, still talk to his dad and him on occasion. So uh, um, when they when they decided on signing day, or you know the night before when they called us that they were going to go to Cal, we said, well, you know, we look forward to seeing you. I can't wait to say hi to you. But you know, understand that when we get on the field, it's you know, it's it's going to be a, a battle. But uh, Bryce is a he's a great kid. So much Harper. So it'd be great to see him. Uh, it'd be great to see him after the game, you know, and and uh, see how they're doing. Is that it?